while I've been in Shanghai, I look back and three years has passed. I had no idea that I w it would be such a good place to, to establish myself. In three years, I have four businesses. I'm actually now busy opening up a fifth one. I never could imagine that it would be so successful. I've been in Shanghai for three years now. And the first thing I did when I came here, of course, is open a, a company to start selling and importing wine. Um, and from that, the natural progression was to have like a wine showroom or a tasting room. And that's, that's when I opened up the Cape Crepe, which is supposed to be more of a wine tasting place. And it turned out to be a real fun bar. And just progressively, naturally, South Africans seem to come in here and like it. Top golf! Cheers! Wine is basically uh, just life, you know. You, if you're into the wine industry, you meet some of the most amazing people. I was in South Africa during the World Cup 2010, and I had some Chinese friends and clients come to South Africa to travel and tour, and they loved the South African wines. And they purchased quite a lot, and they seemed to like it, and they tried to order some more. And I realized that they, while they were ordering wine when I was in South Africa, I thought it would be pertinent if I came to China and sold the wine here in China. Listen, thank, thank you all coming tonight and um, I appreciate your interest in South African wines. Um, as you know, I'm very passionate about South African wines and I think it's some of the best in the world. Maybe every month I do a different tastings um, with different wines or I'll focus on whites or focus on reds. Um, just to help the consumers get, get more knowledge and, and have an understanding. Just slowly process it. Particularly in China, there's, um, honestly, they don't know South African wines. It's really not well known. So for me to, to present the wine in a tasting environment to let some of the locals or even foreigners that live in this country that's never even tried South African wine before, um, it's very important because they really see that there's good value in South African wine and it tastes great. Before this, I, uh, uh, I have a very limited uh, knowledge about uh, South African uh, wines, but now I, I feel it's uh, totally different. I mean, wow! It's restaurant so and the aftertaste is... May I get a sip? In, in every instance, I'm very surprised at how many people are really, really thankful and say, well, I had no idea about South African wines in China, and, and that's the local Chinese loving it. <laughs> Come on guys, go to the next hole over here. Today I'm arranging an event called Pub Golf, which most Westerners have played or know about. Um, it's basically like golf, except it involves drinking. At the end of the day we're doing prizes, we're handing out prizes for the person with the best score, and also for the, the most mistakes and the worst score. Alright guys, listen up, I have a surprise. One more last prize for best dancer. <laughs> You're so funny, I love it. Bodie's out, man. I think we know who the winner's gonna be. When I first traveled in and out of Shanghai, I saw many, many expats around, and I always thought they were transient or just moving through, and I never really had a high opinion. I never spent any time with them or took the time to meet any of them. But now that I've opened up these F&B venues, are, everybody. <laughs> I'm meeting literally thousands of Remember Westerners living in Shanghai. Turns out there's such a lovely community of lovely Westerners. My opinion has changed and I really appreciate meeting them and I enjoy the ones that are here. There's some really fantastic people uh, from uh, other countries living in Shanghai. Calvin is always passing around the shots and making sure the drinks are flowing and such a great host. He always offers more than what you usually ask for. Calvin, of course, makes the place. He, he brings the South African into it. In the Cape Grape, we have so many South Africans that, that, that visit us. And I, I love that they all think it's their home. And it is their home. I mean, after all, why is it there? It's for them. These days, they all come and, and make it a comfortable place where everyone belongs. Uh, this is my good friend, John. <laughs> and this is his beautiful wife, Christina, from Sweden. 
Actually, it's, Ma it's Martina <laughs> from Finland, right? Yeah. That's it. So they came in and they really liked this place and they've been my regular good customers now for one year and 18 months. We were quite new to Shanghai, so it was a, an amazing opportunity for us to get to actually know people, to get to introduce Thank ourselves you. and to really be part of the culture. And Obviously, drink Springbok. Yes. It's been a real pleasure to actually get to thank know you. Calvin you, and get to know uh, Susanna, and obviously the rest of the crew that have been here since the moment that we first popped our head in. So, cheers, guys! Okay, salute, eh? Thank you, Yella. Thank you. Thank you. Kippies, as they say in Finland. doesn't like the camera, how interesting. Yes, okay, yes, okay. I say me, I've done this. Of course, it wouldn't be possible without uh, the facilitation or the help or assistance of a partner. In this case, my wife is my partner and my business partner as well. This is also 2000. It's a crazy. You know South Africa every day, just drink. <laughs> don't, don't tell everyone that. I <laughs> call Susanna. And... 我是上海出生的,我是上海人,但我八四年我就定居到香港了,然后我跟Kelvin是零三年我们在香港认识的。Do me a favor, scan, scan that and see, I'll erase you and see if it comes up. Let's see if it works. Yes, Yuki. The questions people ask me is like, what's it like to work with, with your wife, or be with your wife 24 hours a day in, in this business environment? Um, I think she's pretty unique. Of course, we have disagreements, but because we're so close, we can uh, easily resolve it or actually find ways to get around it. And the testiness that you that you don't have in a in a business environment, for example, if you're working with somebody else, you've got to retain that. We can speak openly to each other, and we get it out of the way, and then we can actually, I think, make better progress. Okay, bring the bring the order sheets up. I'll start taking orders. <laughs> in three years, we've done quite well. Um, we've got three businesses, four businesses, and we open, we're looking at opening up a fifth, and that's all within three years, so I think that speaks for itself. Yeah, so my storage is up here, right upstairs here. This is actually someone's home that I've taken over, and I'm using it for storage. It's quite convenient, it's just above my bar. I need a couple of bottles for downstairs, and I need this Wildecrans Merlot. It, it hasn't been easy. Uh, starting, starting this wine business, and that was the first business we started here, you know, we came straight out of South Africa, straight into to China, and I realized that even with, with my wife's assistance, things in China are done a little differently. In China, it's a big challenge, because uh, we're competing with the old traditions, with the Chinese culture not caring about quality. Um, it's all about price. So it doesn't matter what they're buying, they like to buy the most expensive. More of the educated Chinese now are realizing that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get really good value. Uh, the South Africans are struggling to get into the industry because we pay a lot of taxes to get our wines into the country. But I think in, in time, hopefully, we will get the, the tax rebates and that will help us get our prices more affordable. As I've lived and traveled in many cities around the world, um, Shanghai has this love-hate relationship. I, I truly, truly enjoy living in Shanghai. It's the, it's the modern buildings and some of the most amazing buildings in the world. And then you can go down these little side streets and see some of the ancient times. Shanghai still has old history, a beautiful history. And when the sun's out in Shanghai, I don't think there's a better city in, in the world. It really is beautiful. I'm really enjoying it very much. And even though it's three years, it's just blowing by. Um, I have a five-year plan, I tell myself that, but every, every time it gets closer to that, I can see myself extending it. So I will be here, I think, for quite a long time. I still feel very young. Shanghai is such a fast-paced environment. Um, it makes me feel young, and I think um, I've still got a few years in me yet in Shanghai. I'll be here for a while. I don't have a plan to leave yet. I'm still looking at, at investing and, and making Shanghai a part of my life uh, for, for quite a while.